Hey everyone, how you doing? It's Mr. Outlaw again, talking about some more of the uh, products that I use with my smokeless image Volt products. Uh, today we're going to actually be talking about the VV Nova. It just came in the mail today. This is the VV Nova 2.5. Um, I'm very excited about this thing. Um, no, it's not sold by Smokeless Image. They don't carry it yet. Um, but I do plan on using it with my Smokeless Image X2 battery. Um, I've seen some people on uh, ECF looking for it and asking about, hey, anybody try it? So I figured I'd go ahead and give it a try. Um, actually, I never wanted a tank system. I never wanted anything that held so much juice. But what kind of draws my attention to this is that it's completely rebuildable. Uh, the thought about the fact of not having to keep buying nuclear misers every couple weeks because they burn out um, is very appealing. So let's go ahead and uh, check it out. Let's open it up. It comes in a pretty nice box here. Um, so we'll take it out. Like I said, what I like about it, what draws my attention to this is that it's rebuildable. So, here we go. Comes in a nice phone case. It does come with three replacement heads. Um, it's available in um, 1.8 ohms, 2.4 ohms, and 2.8. Um, so, for us smokeless image users, most of us are using anywhere between 2.4 and 2.8. For everything that smokeless image sells is actually 2.8. Uh, you can go down lower. You have no problem dropping down to the 1.8 ohm on the larger batteries. So you definitely wouldn't want to use that on a small battery, but you're not going to use a 3.5 milliliter tank on a small battery either. Um, so let's go ahead and check this out. Okay, so like I said, they are completely rebuildable. It comes with a drip tip already, which you can always use your own, obviously. And then you just take off the head here, and this is where you would fill your juice. It does have a rubber cup seal. And you're just going to fill your juice in there. And you've got a nice big wide opening in there. So there's no reason why you should get any juice down the center post. So these are going to be very simple to refill. And very simple to clean since we can just take them apart like this. So we take off our tank part. Now this is the 2.5. So they're not supposed to have any problems with leaching of juices. They're supposed to be resistant to that. Um, but they do sell replacement ones of these as well as metal tubes. So I guess you don't really want to call it a clearomizer if they have the metal tubes as well. I mean, some people are calling it a clearomizer, some people are calling it a tank. Um, I just, like I said, the fact that you can rebuild it. And rebuilding it is just basically the two main components that you would have problems with. One being the tank itself, and the other being the coil and the wicks are both replaceable. And there's your coil and wicks. Now some people I even see on one are... Um, going ahead and uh, just re-wicking this themselves and buying new coils and I'm looking for which side on here because these are etched with what the ohms of each one is so don't know if you're going to be able to see that but there is uh, some etching on there and just because of the way the light hits you probably can't see it um, this is the 2.4 ohm. Um, that's usually what I like to use anyway. Um, all of the Phoenixes that I purchase are 2.4 ohms, so we're going to stick with that one. So let's go ahead and test this out. So we'll put our head back on here. There is a little um, O-ring on there, it looks like, so you got to make sure you get it. You, know, you don't want it so tight that you can't take it off, but you want to make sure it's tight enough so you don't have any leaking problems. Make sure you got your little rubber, gas, uh, rubber uh, cup seal on there. We'll go ahead and put this tank on. And it does have the markings, so you know how much juice is in there. And we'll go ahead and fill it up. Now, before we fill it up, I'm going to prepare my battery. Now, unfortunately, this is a 510 threaded uh, clearomizer. So to use it on our X2, we're going to have to use a um, an adapter. So we're going to put it, we always put it on the, on the battery side first. It adds about a quarter of an inch. Okay, and let's go ahead and fill it up. And I'm going to fill it up with uh, Vape Dude S'mores 7030. And just, I mean, this this actually, you can actually fit the dripper bottle right down the side so we can fill it up pretty quickly. 
it is a wick system, so we want to make sure we get our wicks good and wet, and let it wick up. This holds a lot of juice. I'm not even going to fill it all the way up. That's about halfway. A little bit more, maybe, and we're at the two point, the two point oh mark. Okay, let's see how good it wicks. Put the head back on. Now, let's compare some sizes here. Give it a chance to wick up. So there's our... Okay, so they're about the same height as the old Vision Clearomizers that... Uh, you can buy pretty much anywhere a smokeless image. This is the, from Smokeless Image. This is 1.6. This is going to be 3.5. And you can see the width it is a little bit wider. Obviously, it's going to have to be, but it's going to hold it. I'll just give you the idea of the width of the battery compared to the width of the tank. So, one thing for me about these as much as I liked them if I used them upside down too long I'd get some juice in my mouth I don't like the taste of juice so let's go ahead and test this out so we have this it's upside down shake it and nothing that's impressive the thought about being able to use such a big tank and not having to have a drop of leaks that's a pretty good deal. So let's put our drip tip back on it. Click it right on. Like I said, this is a 2.4 ohm car, uh, head on there. Gives it a very good flavor, nice warm bait. I can taste everything in there. I can taste the cinnamon. I can taste the chocolate, the graham cracker, the marshmallow. This really gives a nice flavor. It gives it's pure. I like these. I think I'm going to end up using these. Um, like I said, it is a little big, um, but it's what you're going to expect if you're going to use a 3.5 milliliter tank. Um, I think it's a little bit smaller than using a cartomizer tank. So you're not going to have an issue with that, and uh, you can rebuild it. You don't have to go out and buy new cartomizers and sit there and punch holes in them. You can, you know, buy the new little heads, or if you're really good with stuff, you can buy a roll of wire coil and some threading and re-wick them yourself. So this is a nice product. Uh, it'd be nice to see them come out with it in an 808 thread. Maybe if enough of us... Uh, Bug smokeless image we they can get envisioned to make them form in an 808 thread. But for now I'll buy it like this. I'll use an adapter and it'll be a nice thing to have at home so you don't have to change out your juice all the time. So guys that's my video. If you like the video do me a favor hit the like button for me. Uh, leave any comments you'd like. If there's a video you'd like to see me uh, demonstrate using smokeless image products uh, go ahead and send me a message. I'll be happy to try to get a, to get to it and accommodate for you. Um, other than that, guys, have a great day and happy vaping.